everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be coloring some skin with our Colors of the World uh, Crayola colored pencils. I have the 24 pack. If y'all didn't already see my video where I shared these and did the unboxing and the swatching, I'll make sure that is linked in the upper right hand corner. But here's my swatch of all of these lovely colors that come in this set. And I decided today to go with the almond shades. And so I have all of the almond shades laying over here that I'm going to start with. And then I have some deeper almond shades laying off to the side that I may be bringing in and using for some shadows. The page I'm going to color with you today is from Deborah Muller's new book. It is her new release for Valentine's Day and it is called Cupid Cuties. It's adorable. It's got some really cute images inside. So I only have the PDF version of the book right now so I don't have it to do a flip through. I'm not sure if I'll be getting it or not. Deborah was very kind as to send me the PDF version because she wasn't sure about Amazon and their shipping time and whether or not she would be able to get it to me prior to Valentine's Day. So today this is what we're working with. If you like videos like this, please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on so that you always get notified every time I post a new video. If you would like to join me in my Facebook group, there is a link down below in the description bar below, as well as a link to my Patreon and my email list. Let's go ahead and start coloring. So the colors that I'm going to start out with today are very light almond light almond, medium almond, light medium almond, and medium deep almond. And then off to the side I have the very deep almond and the deep almond just in case I need to bring those in for some shading. And then of course I have some rose colors and stuff because I'm going to go ahead and give her a little bit of um, some rosy cheeks and I'll probably go ahead and show you how to color in her makeup and her eyes. So I've got some other colors from the Crayola set from the 120 set that are set aside. But if you have your pencils and you've already received them in the mail, please go ahead and get out your pencils too so you could color along with me. Just grab any page if you don't have this book that you could color skin in and you could kind of follow along and you can see exactly where I place the shadows and the highlights and all of that and you could just kind of do the same thing on your own coloring page of choice. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lightest shade which is the very light almond and I'm just going to come over her skin and I'm just going to shade it all in with this color just to give it a little bit of color. And I'm just really going over the whole thing with this color because I'm probably just going to use this color as like a highlight color or possibly just to do a little bit of blending and I'm not going to color in all of her skin because that would take me way too long. She has a lot of skin in this uh, in this image that I chose so I am going to go ahead and just do down here on her neck but I'm not going to do her arms and such because I just don't want the video to go on way too long like you guys know my videos tend to go on very long <laughs> but sometimes that's kind of hard not to do with a tutorial type video and I know so many of you wanted to see me color with these pencils so I laid down a base of that one now I'm going to come back with my next color in line and I think that that would be my light almond so I'm just going to come in here and lay down a little bit of light almond and it's not going to look like a whole lot like these colors are not deeply pigmented they're not going to be like like if I was using a Prismacolor right now you would see a lot of color going down on the page you probably don't see a whole lot on camera right now but I can see it But this one looks like, is this an almond color? Yeah, it is light almond. It's got, looks like it has a little bit of pink tint to it. But if these were Prismacolors, you would see a whole lot more color going down on the page. 
but with these that is just not the case because they are budget friendly pencils we are going to see what we could do with them today though I'm going to come down here kind of under her hair and add a little bit of this darker shade. I'm going to try to color a little bit faster in this video. You guys know I'm a very slow colorist. And if you're wondering what paper I'm using today, I'm using the Nina, I think it's Nina Exactabellum, 67 pound. I'll make sure it's linked down in the description bar below. You guys know I usually always use the um, Spring Hill paper, but that paper has a whole lot of tooth, and so I didn't want to use it today, and I really wanted to see how these Crayolas did with this paper, and they seem to be working really nicely with this paper. Now I'm going to grab the next shade in line, which would be my Light Medium Almond. And I'm going to come in here where it should be a little bit more shaded and I'm just going to kind of lay this color over the top of the others just to kind of give her a little bit more color where she needs it. This is a really pretty color. I know these are called almond, but they, I don't know, some of them look like a little bit rosy. I always love adding more color kind of up under the eyes and into the cheek areas. And she's a cute little Cupid, adorable little fairy, and these are Deborah Muller's, um, gosh, what did she call them, chubby fairies? Oh my gosh, the books that I have that are with these chubby fairies, they're my absolute favorite. She has one book that is just specifically all chubby fairies, and it's the cutest thing ever. But I'll make sure all of Deborah's um, her Etsy store where you could get this PDF as well as the book on Amazon. I'll make sure that's all linked in the description below just in case y'all want to pick up this book. But this is my light medium almond. I'm pretty sure this is the next one in line. And I'm just adding in more color and another layer. This paper seems to be doing very well with these pencils. I always add a little bit more shading right above the eyebrows and of course at the end I'm going to come in and I'm going to kind of do my own thing with the eyebrows because you guys know I always like to add a little bit of my own artistic twist or whatever you'd like to call it. Go a little bit darker and bring in our, what is this, our medium almond. So again, I'm going to come in the areas where I want it to be a little bit darker. All up in this area where her hair kind of meets her face it will just naturally be kind of darker in those places. I always like to add a little bit of darkness just over her eyebrows because where your eyebrows are laying on your face it is just naturally going to be a little bit darker and then right here where her eye is very close to her hair And when I'm doing the more cartoony type, I guess, um, characters, 
I'm not really that particular or as particular about where I lay the colors as I am when I'm doing something that is much more realistic. But I like to add some shading in and around the mouth. Just to kind of make the mouth stand out a little bit. And of course, we're going to come back in and we're going to give her some really pretty lips. I have the light almond and I'm using it just to kind of pull some of these other colors through and together. And they're actually blending quite well. I'm very surprised. They're work working really well on this paper too. Okay, so what I usually like to do around the nose is make it look a little bit more realistic. So I usually come in with a darker color. And I just kind of do this and make these lines. And of course I am going to come back and I'm going to blend these out. So I'm going to come back with my lighter color and I'm going to see how well these will blend out just a little bit. There they go. It's working. And look at that. That worked out really nicely. Y'all see what you could do with budget friendly pencils? I'm just pulling this out here and I'm going to come in with my darker color again. I don't know if I said it was my medium deep almond. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to just make these two little lines right there. And then I'm going to come in with the light almond, which is even lighter. I think, yeah, I think this might be the color I used to pull the other colors out. But I don't want any of these harsh lines to remain. I really want this blended out fairly well so that we don't have any harsh lines around her nose. But I still want it to be noticeable. And then kind of like in this area all up in her forehead, I want that to look much more highlighted. And before we come back in with the color for um, the more drastic shading, I want to go ahead and bring in some of the rosy colors. And let's see what colors I have over here. So I have medium deep rose and light medium rose. Which one? I think, let me look at my color swatch chart here. Okay, so we've got medium deep rose. Is that what I said? Yeah, so medium deep rose and light medium rose. So the medium deep rose, yeah, there's, uh, I think I'm going to go with the medium deep rose because it is darker. So I'm going to come in here like in her cheek area and I'm going to add some rosiness over here 
just over where I had the other colors and I like to go kind of up under her eye. And I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. And this is my darker rose color, so I'm gonna come back with my lighter rose color and I'm gonna pull that down a little bit. So now I'm gonna to come to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I kind of, I like to go kind of up in here. Everybody has, or colors skin differently, I think. I've watched several different colorists and how they color skin, especially when I was learning how to color skin. And I kind of just stopped watching everyone else because I kind of just have my own way of how I want to do it. <laughs> And after you guys do it for a while, too, you will just kind of come to find out that you have your own way of how you want to do it, too. Because it's always good to watch tutorials like this. But like I could tell you guys all the time, it's very important to find your own style and the way that you like to do things. But her cheeks look a little bit rosy. But I think I really want them a little bit rosier than that. Let me go ahead and use my lighter rose color. And I'm going to pull it down just a little. And let me pull it down on the other side now too. Now I'm just kind of blending it out a little, but I'm going to have to come back here with one of these other almond colors and kind of just blend everything through. So I'm going to try my light almond and see what happens here. Now see, if I had my Prismacolors and I was doing this, I've actually only ever colored skin with Prismacolors and Luminance. And if I had one of those, I would actually be adding in a lot more highlights, but I wanna leave this specific to just these Colors of the World Crayola pencils because I just want all of you to see what you can do with these and what is possible. And up in here where I want it to kind of be, I don't know, you, you can go like on Google and you can kind of pull up a picture of a human face. And I don't know how many of you follow like or look at those kinds of things or follow like makeup tutorials on YouTube. But you could kind of see the areas where people like when they're doing their makeup or women when they're doing their makeup, they kind of leave like the highlighted areas. And I kind of like to do that a little bit in those same areas when I am coloring skin. So that's kind of what I do and what I follow. But of course, you don't have to do the same thing. But right in here, where a lot of those women like to leave like a really deep highlight, I like to do the same thing. And with this set, I don't think I really have anything that's really going to highlight it that much. I'm gonna try this very light almond and see what we can do with it. But this is my lightest of lights and I'm coming here and I'm just kind of pulling some of this through and going around everything else but I'm probably not going to get the highlight that I really really want with these or like I would if I was using something like a Prismacolor or a Luminance or something like that but that's okay because we all need to appreciate these budget-friendly pencils too right? And I'm actually pretty excited about this set. I really, really love it. But look how good it's looking so far. Let's see if we can come back and add a few more, uh, more drastic shadows on her face and see if we could kind of get it to kind of come together a little bit more. 
So in the areas where you're going to add a shower, let me or shadows, let me turn this just a little bit more. And in the areas where you want to add shadows is going to be kind of like in the areas where she would have something like covering her face, like her hair, or like where her eyebrows are. And this is my medium deep almond. I'm probably going to come back with an even darker color. And I might even want to go to my 120 Crayola set. I am going to have to go to my 120 Crayola set because I want to go ahead and be able to do her makeup on camera with you guys and her eyes and such. And of course, I can't do that with this set because this just is specific to skin colors. I mean, of course, unless I wanted her to have brown eyes, but I really kind of want her eyes to pop. So we are going to do that. I'm going to come in here around her lips. And I'm using a little bit of harder pressure so that I could really create those shadows there. So I really want her lips to stand out. And I think I want her to have pink lips. Isn't she adorable though? She is so cute. <laughs> I love, 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 love a lot of Deborah Muller stuff. Some of it is a little out there for me, and so I don't purchase those. But her cute little fairies and her mermaids And things like that I really 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 love and if you guys have seen my other videos you guys know that her coloring pages and her coloring books are kind of where I started and they are really where I learned a lot of how to color skin I am going to come back and try to pull some of these colors through I have my medium almond and so let's just kind of see what we can do if we can kind of pull these colors out if they're going to blend well enough and they are oh look up in here i really need to add more of the darker shades up in here where her hair is kind of covering. And then I believe this is her skin right here. At least I think it is. I really think she needs, I don't know, I think she needs much more rosier cheeks because, come on guys, she is an adorable little fairy. <laughs> and she should have rosy cheeks. And let me add some of this in here where it should be darker. I think I'm gonna need my much darker shades to come in in this area though. And then here where her arm is. And I'm using a little bit harder pressure here because I really want quite a bit more shadows in these areas. And then under here where her, uh, where her chin meets her neck. And then where these little leaves are kind of laying over her.
Okay, so let me pull that through a little bit now with the medium almond. No, oh, guys, I think I'm really loving these pencils. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they do take a little bit more effort, but even when I'm using my Prismacolors, like, guys, I take quite a long time because I admit I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> But I think a lot of us are. I think she's coming together really nicely, but we need to add makeup because every adorable chubby fairy needs makeup, right? I went and grabbed from the Crayola 120 set and so I grabbed Red Violet, Maroon, and Jazzberry Jam. So I'm going to go ahead and color her lips in. And I'm going to start with the Red Violet. And I think now we're really going to start seeing her kind of come together. Okay, so now we will come back and add a little bit of the maroon. Now I have the Jazzberry Jam. I really want her lips to be quite a bit darker than this. So I am doing this with much harder pressure. This is my maroon. And now I'm really pushing quite hard on this pencil so that I can get a lot of this color really laid down here. And I might even come back with some other kind of color for shading just to really make her lips pop, but I don't know yet. We'll see. I do still want to leave some of that white area just to make her lips look a little bit more natural. Look how cute she is. She's starting to kind of come to life. Now what I kind of want to do is I want to take this color since I don't really have a much rosier color and she really needs some color on her cheeks. So let's come over here and very lightly, I don't know how much pigment's going to come out of this pencil, so I'm starting out really lightly. And I'm really going to, this is the uh, Jazzberry Jam. So we're just laying some of this Jazzberry Jam over where we had our previous pink colors and I like to stay up here higher on her cheekbone when I do this and then I like it to be lighter as it kind of comes down and then blends into a regular skin tone. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Oh, 
love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab one of our, this is the uh, light medium rose. And I'm going to use this just to kind of go back over this again and pull this down. Y'all, look what you can do with Crayolas. Like, did you ever think? <laughs> I am really so excited about this. I love these pencils, I really do. But we can bring this down just a little bit more. Look how rosy her cheeks are, she's so cute. And that all blended out pretty nicely. Look at her rosy cheeks. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to get my, what is this? My very light almond, the color that I told you guys that I was going to be trying to use for my highlights. And I'm just gonna come back over all of this with harder pressure. And I'm gonna try to blend all of this through. I wanted to be able to come through and do this with my white Prisma color. And that's probably what I would do if it wasn't for you know video sake but I wanted to show y'all what you can do with these without bringing in my white Prismacolor to blend all of these in I really want you guys to see how they blend and what they're capable of So they are blending quite nicely. I'm just kind of going over everything. But I'm kind of being careful about going over where her eyebrows are because I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do over there. And she's going to get some makeup. I am using much harder pressure right now. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but I'm just trying to get them to blend the way that I want them to blend together. And this paper, they're working so beautifully on this paper. We're going to give her some makeup. And I see greens. So I've already had these set aside because I kind of prepared before I started the video. And so I have, these are from my 120 Crayola. So I've got forest green yellow green fern and then this amazing screaming green for the highlights in her eyes to just really kind of brighten them up and make them pop so I'm gonna come in here and show you how I do eyes and I'm gonna start at the very top here with my darkest color and with my darkest color I always come around the outside of the eye and I'm going to be turning it a little bit here as I go just because that makes it much easier for me. Okay, so then I'm going to come in with my next green, which is the yellow green. And I'm going to go in a circular motion and pull that down just a little bit and kind of go over this part and blend it. Look how well they're blending on this paper. Okay, and then we've got the fern. And so we're going to go over all that and pull that down just a little bit more. Make sure we don't go into that white area though. And then I've got my screaming green, and this is just going to give her that bright, beautiful pop in her eye. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of white, and I'm not going to go all the way into that center I just created. So we could kind of see that bright pop of green and use the white of the paper at the same time. So now I'm going to come back with my darkest green. And I am going to darken this up. Even more. And then I'm
I'm going to come all the way around this area and I'm going to use harder pressure because I want to really make her eyes stand out. And then I'm going to come and pull that through like I always do. Look how pretty. And then my third color, I think this was fern. And then I'm going to come back one more time with the screaming green. <laughs> But we colored her eye in. Look how pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color the other eye in. Now it's time to go ahead and give her some eyeshadow. I think I'm going to start with the fern and I'm going to come in here and just, yes, I'm giving her green eyeshadow because I just think it kind of goes gorgeous with her green eyes. And then I like to do it all the way up to her brow bone. And then I'm going to come in with the Screaming Green. And I'm just going to add some of that. And then I always like to do the same thing at the bottom and give her a little bit of eyeliner. So I usually come down in here. And I'll do the same thing around here. Now this is just something that I do just because I like the way that it looks. And I think it really makes the eye stand out. And then you guys know when I do the eyeshadow, I always like to come back with my stickles too. Let me go ahead and turn this so that I could do the other eye. Did I use the fur? Oh my gosh, now I can't remember. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh, I do that all the time. Like, I lay one color down, and then it's like, okay, what did I do on that side? I forgot. I think it was the fern. And again, all the way up to the eyebrow. And I'm going to lay a little bit of the darker color. What was this one? The forest green. And then let me add a little bit of the forest green on this side. Look how pretty her eyes are. And then let's give her a little bit of screaming green in here too. And then just like the other side, I'm going to turn it a little bit and I'm going to come in here with my darkest green. And I'm going to line her eyes just a little bit as if she had some eyeliner on. And 
And then I want the screaming green. in this area here. I have my black Crayola and after I do the skin I like to come back in and I like to go over the areas that really need to stand out with my black. So like you know the areas that kind of got faded. So make sure you have a really sharp lead and then on this one it looks like her eyelashes really needed to be colored in anyway and I'm going to come around and I'm going to do this all around her eyes and then I like to just kind of re-outline her eyes because then where I laid the green, like it just really makes everything stand out so much more. So that eye is done. Can you see the difference in both of the eyes? What a difference it makes? last thing I like to do is I like to come back over the eyebrows and in this case I'm going to kind of add my own little thing in here and this black is not black enough. Okay, let's see what I could do over here. I should have just probably done this on the other side. Oh, that looks way better. That's what I should have done on the other side, but that's okay. I'll probably play with it off camera and see how I could fix that eyebrow and make them both look the same. But she looks really cute. I like the way that she turned out. And I just really wanted to show you guys what you can do with Crayolas. Let's add a little bit more shadows. skin is done and I really love the way that it turned out. I hope you all do too. I hope you were able to follow along with this and be able to do the same thing even if it was on another coloring page. I'm going to go ahead and finish her up off camera, maybe add a few little more details and such and 
I don't know, come in with a Posca pen and do a few little things, maybe add some stickles to her and just really kind of make her pop. And I don't know if I'm gonna finish this page, but we'll see. But we used quite a few colors, if you can see all these colors here. <laughs> If y'all enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on. Everything that you saw me use in this video will be linked in the description box below. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.